first meeting ever between University of Central Florida, the Golden Knights, and number 23, Penn State. For the flexibility. He can run, he can throw, but most importantly, he's a dynamic quarterback. Zach Mills set several freshman passing records a season ago, and he has big expectations for not only himself, but the entire team. It is a picture-perfect day for college football. 72 degrees, 73% humidity, partly cloudy, and now the clouds just pulling back a little bit during the course of the week, though. Seasons. And we are set to go. And this one goes through the back of the end zone. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Single back set, three receivers, Schneider. To Haynes out of the backfield. Haynes steps two tight ends and two wideouts. And a single back, which is Haynes. Second down and nine. Haynes trying the left side of that offensive line and stop right at the line of scrimmage. This Penn State defensive front. Bronson and Haynes on the ends. Adams and Kennedy in the front. Well, this is Jimmy Kennedy's defensive line. Uh, he didn't come out last year in the NFL draft. He's back for a few. Gabriel in motion at the bottom of your screen. Schneider to pass. Completes the pass to Gabriel for a it's first down and ten. Here's a look at the linebackers for Penn State. Stuart Capone and Derek Wake. A concern for Joe Puck. Joe told us yesterday, number one priority, improved play from the linebackers. You've already seen that they're going to make those linebackers open field tackle. In the secondary, Gardner and Scott, Meyer and Harrell at the safety spot. Injuries have depleted. Handed off to Haynes, tries the left side again. This time has a little bit more room. Haynes all the way out over the... UCF on its opening drive of the ball game. Schneider with a play fake. Finds his tight end complete. Midfield for... Out of the shotgun. Schneider to Haynes. Trying to get to the edge, and he's run down. Sean Near. Schneider out of the shotgun. Has plenty of time and has a man. And it's another down and 10. The nose of the ball at the 38. Toss to Haynes. Stays on his feet. Haynes, another first down at the eight. That's out of the eye. Haynes running between the tackles. Handed off to the tailback, the left hatch. Three freshmen at the trigger here. The cooler than the fan on that one. So UCF marches... The junior, pardon me, sophomore, took over near the end of last season and won five of their last seven games. The backs and receivers skilled people, Larry Johnson, Sean McHugh, Williams, and Tony Johnson, who just ran back that kick, and Bryant Johnson. Well, Larry Johnson and Tony Johnson are brothers and great athletes. But I love number 24, Brian Johnson. Team's top receiver a season ago. First down and 10 from the 26. You and Larry Johnson out of the eye. They're going to pass it on first down. Flag down on the play. Mills tiptoes out of bounds at the 40-yard line, and it looks like there might be a football team. The second thing, you see the youth of the... Miller High Life offensive line for Penn State. Felder, Smith, Iorio, Linda, and Matt Schmidt. Great story. Joe Iorio, first freshman walk-on in the history of Notre Dame. Uh, excuse me, Mark. I take that back. <laughs> the first history of Penn State to start as a true walk-on. Little toss and a fumble. Nobody home. As Larry Johnson in formation for the Nittany Lions. Mills for Bryant Johnson has him open, and it's a first down at the 42-yard line of the Knights. Four to play. I love Bryant Johnson, but this one right here is stealing. Mark, they break a coverage. The free safety was actually playing middle thirds, playing three deep, and the corner jumped up and was playing the flat. They had nobody in the deep thirds, so as talented as Bryant Johnson is, UCF gave them that big third down conversion. Big conversion for Penn State. They give it to Larry Johnson, and Johnson all the way down here. UCF coming with a little blitz. And a quick three-step drop from Pitt. There's the option package. Larry Johnson on the toss. 
Touchdown, Penn State. Mark, that is a great UCF is a big field zone blitz team. You see the linebacker coming from the field. Penn State ran the option away from the blitz into the boundary. Larry Johnson, he gets a great block from Casey. Two tight end formation, two wideouts for UCF on first down and 10. Schneider complete right over the middle of the field. Most of the ball right now facing third down and one. They come out quick. Haynes going to be close, very close. Ryan Flynn. Standing at his own 16. Your average of just over 32 yards per punt. Gets off a good one here, driving Johnson back to the 23. And he's brought down immediately. Wells and Johnson bumped into each other on the handoff. Johnson had a big catch the last time to keep their drive alive. Mills finds Johnson again. Still on his feet. Johnson brought down at the 30-yard line. First down, Nittany Lions. And showed tremendous poise here. Up until this point, he's looked a little bit rattled. But he stands in the pocket. He delivers the ball to Brian Johnson. Once again, third down conversions on defense. You see UCF, number 28, Asani Samuel, who you think would be a bump-and-run pressure-type cover First down. down and 10 for Penn State. Johnson already with a couple big catches in the game. Mills back to pass once again. Oh, oh, Johnson, a key one so far. Second down and five. The option into the boundary. Larry Johnson. As this season developed, he's not the type of guy that likes to avoid contact. First and ten, the handoff. To the Mills on the shuffle pass. Johnson brought Six down 10 out of the hold of Chris Ganter. Gould knocks it through. Penn State increases its lead to 10 to 3. The team taunted of each other knowing that there's more important things in life than just football. Yeah, man, he's always very good at putting things into perspective. So back here once again. This is Luther Huggins. And the Penn State defense really swarming to the ball now. First full opening Saturday of the college football season. Third down and eight. Schneider complete and a flag down. Strong receiver, but I don't think that's what they mean when they say strong receiver. Now they split the field. Schneider with time. Gabriel. Right here now on the first and ten after the conversion. Screen pass to Haynes, and he's got a couple of blockers in front of him. Haynes with another first down out to the field. Snyder hands it off this time out of the shotgun. Haynes again putting his helmet down. Trips to the right side of the field for UCF. Snyder with time again. Incomplete. Look for Gabriel over the middle. And he was covered to where Penn State already is. Third down and six. Tipped up. Almost intercepted. And it's incomplete. It was tipped. Paul Cronin, the nickelback. Penn State's playing a lot of nickel. Five defensive backs taking their out. For UCF. Then hangs this one up. Johnson back at the 13. Comes right up the middle and fumbles it. Still waiting for a call. Field. UCF ball. Ten now. See how opportunistic UCF can be. Quick little screen. And nowhere to go for Isaac. Complete. Haynes. Tried to get to the corner. Chopped down to the fifth. Gaines, the tight end, lines up to the right. Here's Haynes. Cuts back the other way and chopped down right at the line of scrimmage. Run. They finished 103rd last year in rushing offense. And you see that he's coming back, and it's still a work in progress as far as getting the offensive line and time. That was in the slot to the top of your screen. They come back the other way to the tight end, incomplete. And he had some room in front of the top from 26 yards out. This one coming from 32. 
the true freshman is true. Right down the pipes. Mills on a quick three-step drop. Had to wait and throws it up. And it's caught unbelievably by Tony Johnson. Wow, how did he get Actually, an interception. Here you are. You're going to see them in two deep. They throw the fade to corner, does a great job of collisioning. Just Tony Johnson gets up and high points the ball. And I believe he was a basketball player in high school. <laughs> Mark, he went up and just, just converted the jump ball situation. Omar Lynn tied up, lined up with the right side of the formation. Here's Johnson. Johnson broke a couple of times. Larry Johnson in stark contrast to the temperament of his brother, Tony, who's a little more mellow. <laughs> Here he is again, running into the boundary. Following his blockers nicely, Larry Johnson, and another first down for Penn State. Will take them a little bit of time to assimilate. Second down. Bill. Bills. McHugh, the pullback on the screen. The best laid plans, uh, they don't work out. It's the players that win these football games. Well, that plan didn't work out. There's a slight wind in his face. Got plenty of leg on this, but it's wide. 10 for UCF at the 30. Snyder bounced one to four for the Golden Knights. Snyder steps up, finds Doug Gabriel in a nice target at 6-2. First down in 10. Haynes trying to get to the edge, but Brock down to Snyder complete. Who else? Gabriel for the first down of the field. Meanwhile, 13 of 18 passing, first and 10. Oh! That 14 out of 19, Frizzell has a little bit of room, and there's another one of those little... As they play with Washington Redskins. And the quarterback of Boston College, Mike Kruzek, his team with the ball, and Haynes brought down behind the line of scrimmage that time at the 32. Last year in the Miami game, he tore his cruciate, and cruciate knee ligament was out for the season. There you see a good defense. Five of his last seven passes, looking at second and 12. He set up the screen to Haynes, and it took a little bit of time, maybe too much, to set up. <laughs> his only job. On third down and 17 for Schneider. Going up top. Couldn't hang on to it. His third field goal is connected from 26 and 32 already. This one coming from 53. Has enough leg. And it's good with distance to spare. The Golden Knights now in second down and 10. Larry Johnson. Mills complete to Johnson on the screen. Brought down to the 33-yard line. That'll be the last play of the There weren't many people that thought that UCF would be this competitive, but surprise, surprise, 10-9 at the break. Number 23, Penn State, with the enough to give Larry Johnson enough touches. Larry Johnson so far running the ball very well eight times for a total of 56 yards, and here he is on the kickoff return a yard deep. Johnson finds a seam. Got an alley all the way down to the 45 of UCF, and that's a good start. Mark, special teams. First football game of the year. Not a lot of full contact work in special team situations. Penn State missed the field goal. Penn State dropped a ball on a punt return, but now they come back Larry and Johnson get getting the breather now. Joe Smith and a receiver. Zach Mills keeps it himself. Ball's down at the 43-yard line. It's the distance. Go down the column is the number that really jumps out at the top of the page. It is the time of possession, although it wasn't a factor on the scoreboard. I think it's a little bit deceiving. Uh, Central Florida uh, created the turnover. Get to the 37 for the first down. Rolls to the wide side of the field, incomplete for Brian. He is throwing the ball. First down and 10. And off to Haynes. Trying to get to the corner and does. Haynes right there is pretty, but so far his numbers look very attractive. Mix up on the snap. And Penn State got the ball back. Here's is going to be tested on resiliency. Once again, a self-inflicted mistake by UCF. Penn State had absolutely nothing to do with that. 
Mark, this young defense with a bunch of new job. They're an explosive offensive football team. And Dr. Larry Johnson goes on his recruiting trip sometimes. Third down and five. Goes with the fake under duress and throws it away wisely. Robbie Gould in for a field goal attempt. This one coming from 34 yards out. And he knocks it through. Penn State increases some of the fans that made the trip up from Orlando. Ready to seize the national stage. First and 15, Schneider under duress. He won Michael Haynes is probably their best pass rusher. And it's so important on first and 10 or first, fifth, first and 15. Second down and 15. Snyder completes it to Doug Gabriel. He's out to the top of your screen. Brazell at the bottom. Wide open over the middle. Gabriel fighting for the first. Capers in motion. They set up the screen to Haynes, and he dropped it. Throw the little Haynes just went down and got back up. Wow. And Snyder sacked back at the 22. Good looking sequence. Once again, you're going to see Paul Cronin coming off the edge. They bring both inside linebackers. He's not accounted for on his side. And the new quarterback's in the game. Number 12, Mike Robinson. Great athlete. And he put it on the ground and fumbled it. Combat, the defense overloading or outnumbering you. Third down, McHugh, the fullback. The go. He has the sidelines now. Paul Jefferson in a fullback. This is Larry Johnson. Boy, Johnson delivered in college football. We've heard that term a lot over the last yeah. several years. Big time. Second and nine. Mills, a quick drop and complete. Johnson. Just short of the end zone. And now they see touchdown. Late signal. And a touchdown. Missed tackle in the open field. Once again, just a quick hitch to Tony Johnson. Omar Lawrence starting his first game at UCF misses the tackle. Those called by the pylon. First of all, you're going to see the corner in thirds. Missed tackle, Tony Johnson. Now the question, does he get the ball across the plane of the goal line before his... Little reverse, and they fumble it. Haynes... Picks it up. Gabriel picks it up. He was lucky to get back. Play broke down once again because of penetration by the defensive front, Michael Haynes. That's Michael Haynes' second big play of the afternoon. Today, UCF 6 of 12. Third and long. Schneider lobs one up for Brazil. Picked off at the 39 yard line by Calvin Lowry. the curl Ryan Schneider untypically throws the football over top of him and the ball's intercepted by a true freshman safety his first interception as a Nittany Lion the fourth possession of the second half that started in UCF territory it's becoming a little bit unraveled for UCF here in the second half back in at quarterback number 12 Mike Robinson Hugh and Larry Johnson out of the eye. A little counter play. Larry Johnson. Just to the bottom of your screen. And give it to the fullback. McHugh still on his feet. Broke the tackle. Larry Johnson between the tackles. Mills keeps it himself. They've liked that play right today. On campus and beyond. Third and three. McHugh the fullback. Here's Tommy Bradley, 20 years. Fourth down and short. McHugh, fumble, and UCF has it. Mark, I go back to the timeout. See what they can do. Snyder under the center. Haynes cuts it up. UCF hasn't gotten into the end zone today. All three scores on field goals. Schneider under pressure, sacked by Haynes at the seven. Interesting call right there, Mark. Uh, running the bootleg pass. Third and 15. 
Snyder going up top for Gabriel, and he caught it. Doug Gabriel. 100 yards, 101 yards receiving today for number 11 for UCF. Here's Haynes. Haynes now out to the very much in this ball game still. Haynes between the tackles. First down and 10 after that Haynes run. And Haynes tackles Snyder and fumbles it. They were a good, solid group, but you need big plays. And Michael Haynes has provided that here today. Negative yardage plays created by your defense. With animals. <laughs> on some down. Eight yards to go. Snyder behind his intended receiver. Version from Gabriel last time on third down. Let's see what they do here. Goes up top. Frizzell got it in behind the defense. First down, UCF. And off is to Haynes. Trying to get to the edge. There's a flag down. Haynes down at the first. First and 19. Snyder up and incomplete. Really good pressure on Ryan Snyder. Once again, Michael Haynes. And I think you see the effort on second down and over 20 yards. A little reverse here. They run it into the boundary, and Tavares came the screen. Here they come. And State blitzing. Oh, intended for Frizzell, incomplete. And a career high 53 yarder. This one coming from 34. And it's blocked. And knocked out of bounds. And a flag as a result. Eric Wake coming up the middle with great pressure, great vertical jump, wow. great effort. And for a guy coming off major knee surgery in the last season, what a great effort. You see the young, the holder, Jimmy Frisell, kicks the ball out of bounds. Bringing back memories of Andy Johnson in motion. This is Larry Johnson. Hill, so to speak. Third down and four. Those with time. Great reception by the tight end, Casey Williams. UCF's defense stay on the field, and Casey Williams one-hands it right here. He doesn't look like the prototype, prototype tight end. He's five Ooh. foot 11. Back lining up out of the eye. Larry Johnson. Special teams, and that's why you see a lot of those Johnson brothers on the special teams at Penn State. There's Mills to pass, has a man wide open. At First down and 10 for Penn State. Mills keeps it himself. Mills making a little match. And down. Second down and seven. Mills on the pitch. Touchdown, Penn State Jefferson. Zach Mills, a great job. The Nittany line trying to bounce back from two consecutive losing seasons. Paul Jefferson doing the honors here. We'll be right back after this. You see a lot of teams opening up with what you would presume to be a win. You have to give Michigan and Washington credit for playing each other in the first game of the year. Once again. Snyder out of the shotgun this time as we approach seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass complete. That first game against Marshall will be their first MAC conference football game. And Snyder to pass. Complete to Gabriel. They're going to pitch it complete once again to number one. Snyder to Haynes. Ready to go. The draw to Haynes. He has the first down. He wants that clean back. The pass complete down to the six yard line. Douglas for 138 yards. Snyder. Incomplete in the end zone. And a flag on the play. Pass interference. Defense by all we placed on it. Haynes up the middle. Touchdown. Alex Haynes with UCF's first touchdown of the season. On your screen, Haynes the lone back. Beside Schneider. And they get the two-point conversion. Great catch by Capers. The onside kick himself against this team. The hands team led by Tony Johnson making this walker. 
Here's Larry Johnson brought down Larry Johnson in, the the in the studio along with Trev Alberts. Third down and 13. Mills. Why is those games on the road? But it's something they have to do at this stage of their program right now. But also all conference teams in bowl championships. Either complete for Frizzell when he's down in 10. Haynes. Brought down to the 40. Second and five. Incomplete almost. Seriously. Snyder. Complete. Over the middle and man Gabriel. They're gonna say it's complete for another first. A little bit restless. They don't want UCF to score. Wide open. And out of bounds. Complete. Again, touchdown, Capers. Stops the clock with 24 seconds to go. Get a good bounce out of this. And once again, the hands team does the job for Penn State. So in the end, it, it kind of, in a weird way, evened itself out. I agree, Mark. These are two pretty close football teams. Penn State had a difficult time matching up with UCF. UCF. Schneider, meanwhile, will take home the loss, but some very impressive statistics. Coming up next, it's the College Game Day scoreboard presented by Acura. The final score, 27-24 for Penn State. There's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. For Bob Davey and Holly Rowe and the rest of our ESPN crew, I'm Mark Jones. Now back.